each one of us dreams of owning a beautiful home but if you're not careful this could become your reality this is a scene at this apartment on a saturday where residents have gathered to protest against the builder bangalore could become the first indian city to run out of water so if you dream of buying a house in bangalore what are the things you should consider so this dream doesn't turn into a lifelong nightmare so the first time we came to view this place you know there was a person showing us this house we opened the main door and what we could see from the main door was this beautiful view and that is what uh, captivated us at uh, first sight they are shares and anita who recently bought a house just 9 months back near electronic city i am from a place called odupi and she is from bangalore so i started working at a place called wipro for the first 3 years of uh, my career then i was in a slightly uh, finance profession as well for a while uh, before the startup happened uh, we met in 2020 and it was an arranged marriage so the strongest inspiration behind getting a house is sitting next to me and uh, we wanted to pursue something together because you know we were getting to know each other there is always an emotional aspect of buying a home especially when it is your first home but then there are rational aspects too for instance you should know the actual average per square feet cost of the area in which you are planning to buy the home rather than overspending on a property which you like we have a list of 10 locations with their per square feet area price in a handbook link in the description besides this there is also a lot of information compiled which might come in handy when you are planning to buy a home in bangalore i got the house completely by myself uh, did not go through the home loan route when you take a bank loan the bank does its own due diligence to check the authenticity and the quality of the project for which it is granting that loan so even if you can buy the home in cash it might be a good idea to take even small amount of loan because it adds the additional level of safety and security so there were many things that clicked here one thing would be a beautiful view of this apartment second was uh, the uh, cohort or the age group that is there over here is the similar that we are from so we were able to relate to them better and the facilities here are great and it's great it's it's at a prime location where it's closer to the workplace as well so all of these matched so that's why we chose this so this was our first thing that we looked at and then we chose it right away so you say this was love at first sight this and house yeah <laughs> both <laughs> buying a home should be the correct mix of emotions and rationality the recent bangalore floods are still fresh in all our minds I usually take 20 to 30 minutes to reach my office. But that day I got stuck for more than 2 hours where the water logged silk board signal. Even though this level of flooding is not common in Bangalore, but still you should make sure that the area and the building you choose to live in should have proper drainage and water management facilities. At the same time, the rise in population and over dependence on Kaveri has led to water shortage in many areas in Bangalore. One of my friends recently told me that he has to spend as much as 3000 rupees just on drinking water. You can find some pointers in the handbook that can help you track these water issues. You should also focus on the quality of the builder. Always try to go for an A class builder like Soba, Prestige, Brigade, etc. This way you will have to worry less about the quality of the construction. I think one thing that we were very clear was if you have to buy a house it has to be from a very reputed builder because you know you keep hearing things in the media about uh, you know builders not complying with their promises or delays that happen but is just getting a reputed builder enough you must have heard of the recent super tech twin tower demolition which happened in noida the reason for that it was not a rare registered property the builder did not stick to the building plans and hence the court ordered the demolition what is rare Let's hear it from our legal expert Nishan. This is a regulation which gives a lot of protection to the home buyer, and I'll cover some key points. For an under construction house, there's an advance payment which the builder may take from you. RERA limits this advance amount to only 10% of the entire purchase consideration. If anybody asks you for more, you can say a flat out no. My friend bought a flat in HSR. When he moved in, everything was okay. But then when it rained, he faced seepage issues. Six months down the line, he has plaster falling off the walls. So. What can you do to avoid such a situation? 
So this home inspection is something that is a trend that is picking up in India. So we came across a vendor that seemed good and those people were very professional because they got two members over to the house to look at you know structural aspects, electrical aspects, plumbing aspects and those guys one was a civil engineer, one was a mechanical engineer. But the work that they've done was amazing and that sort of gave us the confidence that we could go ahead and buy this unit and that there were no structural defects here. If any structural defect comes up either during the home inspection or later you have an option if it is a RERA approved project. So if there's any defect in the flat or property which you have received from your builder, for a period of five years from the date of possession, that is the date which you get the flat, if there are any structural or property defects, then he has to rectify them for free. The seller told us was from a Vastu perspective also, this is compliant, though we were not very specific. For us, that was the least of our considerations when we were looking at it. It may or may not be a concern for you, but it may be a concern for someone else. The elder saw this, you know, they take out the compass on the phone and they look at which direction is what. And they sort of told us that from a Vastu perspective also, this is a very nice house. For us specifically, this has been a very lucky place. You know, when we decided to come into this house is when, you know, good things happen professionally for me. Also for her, in Kannada, there's a saying, you know, Mane katti nodu, uh, madve maadi nodu. What that means is, shadi karke dekho, uh, ghar bana ke dekho. For us, both of these things happen together. Or when you go to only at that point you will realize that there is nothing like a ready-to-move-in house. We have to spend our time, effort and money to make that builder's flat into our own. When we bought this house, one of the things that both of us were very clear on was the type of interiors that we wanted. We wanted like a uh, Scandinavian and minimalistic design. What we wanted to do was minimalistic. It was not minimalistic on the pocket. Uh, people budget anywhere between 7, 8, 10% of the house price to do the interiors. So for us, that investment was more to the tune of 20, 25% even. The movable furniture like the coffee table and so on, uh, most of it was done with IKEA. At least we had like three visits of IKEA. Other things, contractor not done, the rest IKEA. Because this is a co-creation that, you know, this is something that we did together. This has significance beyond just the four walls of uh, uh, this. You know, many people, what they do is once they've done the house and that's it. Uh, they don't want to keep refurbishing or keep upgrading. But we want this to grow with us. So that's, that's sort of one vision that we have together. But to get to this state, there is a lot of boring groundwork that you have to get through. For instance, when I was planning to buy a home, sale deed and sale agreement both sounded very similar to me. Agreement for sale is essentially a contract which says that if certain conditions in the contract are completed, then that sale will be made to you. What you must ensure is that when the property is actually being transferred to you, apart from the agreement for sale, which you would have signed at the beginning, at the time of transfer, you must have a sale deed which says that property A is being transferred to you. From this execution, the property is legitimately and definitely yours. You must also ensure that this particular sale deed is registered with the sub-registrar. If it is not a registered sale deed, the sale is not valid. Along with this, you should also know what kind of documents you should ask from a builder to legally own the property. Some documents like the title deed of the property, that the builder has valid title to build that property, occupancy certificate to make sure that it's a completed project and you have the right to occupy the property, completion certificate which certifies the actual completion of the contract by the law, these kind of documents are very, very necessary to ensure that you are the rightful purchaser of the property and no one can come and challenge you on this. Have you heard of Khata A and Khata B? No? Unfortunately, even I hadn't when I was planning to buy my home. Khata A and Khata B. Khata A property means all property taxes are paid and it is a perfectly legal property. If you have a property which is a Khata B property, it means there is some element of illegality or non-compliance to it. Certain property taxes may not have been paid validly. This restricts your right to sell that house. So you must ensure that any property which you purchase into is a Khata A property or check with the builder when that Khata B property might be converted to a Khata A property. To check whether the property which you are buying is Khata A or Khata B, you can directly ask from a builder or you can check it yourself by following the simple process mentioned in the handbook. The night we shifted in, it was raining really heavily and the interiors work was not 100% done. So when we woke up in the morning, in this terrace that we felt, you know, we'll go have a nice cup of tea, we'll enjoy the sunrise. First of all, because it was cloudy, there was no sunrise. Second of all, because of the rain, what had happened is there was a swimming pool here. You know, uh, some of the debris from the interiors work was still, you know, they had not removed it because of which water was getting accumulated. And instead of a cup of tea, 
we have to take a mop both of us and you know <laughs> put all the water up <laughs> so that is the expectation versus reality but at the end of the day it's not the perfect plans but small moments that turn into lifelong memories so this process of getting this house made us closer so there is that emotional value of this house not just as a house but a place that we set out together and we want to experience this for the longest time possible as much as we can so that uh, you know when we have our kids or when we have our future generations we can tell them look this was the first thing that we did together uh, as a project <laughs>